Hi guys, Jan Morgens here from 3dshaker.com. Wouldn't it be great if you can totally change your lighting in the post process? I mean, your render is finished, looks great as always, but you would like to play a bit more with illumination. Maybe turn one of the lamps off or another light up, change the intensity of light or even adjust the hue and saturation of your lighting. Doesn't it sound great? Of course it does. And in the next few minutes, I'll show you how to do it in Blender using Octane Rendering Engine. This tutorial consists of three parts. The first part is all about setting everything up so light mix can work properly. In the second part, we will make a handy control panel for light groups, so adjusting illumination will be very easy and enjoyable. And finally, in the last part, I'll show you how to make a quick animation of changing lights in your scene with our light mix. As an example, I will utilize one of the projects I recently made and is available in our shop, so you can buy and play with it right now. Fire up the pre-rendering, open kernel panel and in the light section turn on AI light and change disable to enable. As you can see, now everything's black, but don't worry about that, we have to activate light IDs. S is for sunlight, but we have no sun in the scene. E is for environment, our HDRE texture. 1 is currently for all of our lights, because all of them have the same ID, number 1. However, in the next step, we will assign a specific ID for each type of light. Unfortunately, there is a limitation to the number of IDs. You can control only 8 different types of illumination. Let's call it light groups. However, I think it's enough for most of the project, at least for me so far. So, we go to our outliner, expand the light collection, at first there are lights on the pillars, click to one of them and set the light pass ID to 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, <coughs> sorry about that. <laughs> All lights uh, share the same material, so we don't have to set it for each of them. Now we can try if it actually works, disable ID number 1 and enable ID number 2, which are our pillar lights. Nice! Uh, this panel is very handy also for preview rendering. You can easily switch on or off any of your light group. Let's continue with table lamps, set ID to 3. Alright. The next one is a floor lamps. Here I will also use ID3 because these lights are on the other side of the building so we can control them together with table lamps as well as lanterns. So also these I will assign to ID3. Okay, now we prepare the pendant lamps. This lamp has two emission parts, area lamp and mesh. Let's assign an ID number 4 to each of them. Great. The next one is sailing lights. There we will have number 5. Number 6 will go to point lights in the corridor.
and number seven to area lamps in the corridor as well. Alright, we are almost done, but there is one more type of lamps under the water that has ID1. Perfect. Now, what we have to do is set a few things properly. In the Octane kernel panel, I enable Alpha channel, then go to the Passes panel and activate the following. Under the Beauty section, we need to enable the environment pass, then post-processing pass. In the lighting section, we need to all of these passes enabled. And we are done. I can hit the render button and wait until render is done. Alright, our rendering is done. Now the tricky part is coming. We need to reconstruct our image with the passes. I know maybe it sounds to be a bit difficult, but trust me, if I understood how to do it, you will as well and much more faster. Okay, we are in the compositors window. We would like to see how our composite looks like. So search for output viewer node, plug image into the image and enable backdrop. All right. In the beginning, we want to merge ambient light with the environment. Let's add a color mix node, connect ambient light, connect environment and as a factor use alpha. Next, we would like to add the first light pass. So duplicate mix node, connect octane light pass number one and change mix to screen. Voila, now we can turn on or off our first type of light. I will use the same process for all of the rest of the lights, so let's do it quickly. Alright, we have all lights connected. Now I'm going to add one more thing and that's a post-process pass so we can control our glare and bloom effects. I know what you are thinking now. Oh, Jan, that's totally awesome. But the image is noisy. What we can do about that? Yes, that's the question. Unfortunately, we can't use Octane's inbuilt denoiser here at the moment. However, we have a good compensation for that. Let's search for denoise and here is it. This node can do a pretty good denoising job today and I bet you that in the future it will be even better. And that's basically it. Now you can perfect your light in the compositor and don't waste time rendering your project. In this part of the tutorial I will teach you how to create this cool control panel with handy sliders to easily manage your lights. So I will select all these nodes and press Ctrl G. Now everything is inside of the node group. If you want to go out from a node group, click on group input and hit tap. OK, we can rename our node group to something like light control panel or so. <laughs> I stole a name from Corona Renderer and name it uh, Light Mix. Press tab to open a node group and we can continue the renaming. First image is for ambient, second is for environment, third socket is for alpha. Next one is the first light pass. Okay, you get the point, so let's do it quickly. 
Now when we have named our input, we can add more properties to control with our panel. I won't go very deep here because uh, surely you can find hundreds of detailed tutorials about making animations in Blender. However, when I tried to render an animation just with a compositor without rendering a 3D scene, I had trouble with that. So I decided to talk about to save your time searching for the solution by your own. The first thing that we need to do is to save these render passes as separate images. Fortunately, Octane comes with an easy solution. All we need to do is to check this checkbox, Octane Output, and set it as following. Export separate image files and file type should be EXR 32-bit tone mapped. Thanks to EXR, we will get images with full color depth and tone mapped means that the image will be influenced by Octane Camera Imager and that's what we need. Also, we need to disable compositing. Alright, we can hit render. Ta -da -da. After the rendering is finished, we're going to disable all our collections. Go to Compositing window, search for Input, Multiple Images, and let's find our saved passes. Here they are. Alright, now we replace passes from Lender Layers node with these images. We will get the same result, but it's critical for the animation. So, combined pass uh, we don't need, ambient pass plug into the ambient, environment pass to environment, and so on. Oh great, uh, now we can animate it. I will make just very easy animation to present you a way how to do it. At the beginning, Turn all lights off. First the light group. Uh, we would like to shine it up at frame 25. So at frame 24 
insert a keyframe with value 0. Right click, insert keyframe 0. Jump to frame 25, change power to 1 and make a keyframe. It means that from frame 0 to frame 24 the lights will be off and from frame 25 to the end of our animation they will shine. Now let's set it up for all our light groups. Don't forget to enable the noising. Okay, so our little animation is ready. Go to the output properties, set an output folder and choose a file format. You can render a sequence of images and then merge them into the video or you can render a video right now. In this case, I will use AVJPEG. OK, press Ctrl F12 and wait for animation. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Also, thank you very much for your supporting comments under the previous video. I will try to prepare something new soon. If you have some suggestions, what would you like to learn next, please let me know in the comments. And if you would like to support me and our 3D Shaker team, please do it by buying some of our models available on Bandai Market or 3dshaker.com. Take care and see you next time.